today is the day that I will be starting my journey. So, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm terrified. Not as, I'm, I'm prepared here, but I know that like the rest of me is still kind of like, you know, it's like worrying about judgment, worrying about people like looking at me and being critical. Like I don't like putting myself in situations like that. This is definitely gonna fall under the category of, let's get it done. This is only 45 minutes. I'm definitely gonna be looking at the clock like, I don't know if there's any way that I'm going to be able to quote unquote enjoy um, what's happening fully um, just yet. Right now it's definitely the intimidation factor is there. Um, can't do much about it. So I'm going to lay down these edges because right now child she acting like she don't have no right now i definitely look like i wrote on the bed because guess what i did no i'm starting this journey um thank god that there are people in my life who care about me enough to be like why don't you just try and so that's what i'm doing but this time i don't want to just try this time i want to do i want to overcome i want to win this battle it's been too long and I have been in a place of complacency for long enough. And I think enough is enough, you know? Time is of the essence, you know? We're not as young as we used to be, but I can look and feel it, right? 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 Right. I want to feel as pretty as people say that I am sometimes. I'm like, where? But okay, sis, you know? I don't necessarily always see it. And so... It's a shame. I should be able to see, you know, and like and enjoy myself and not feel like I failed myself because that's how I feel. And I feel like getting back into the place where I'm in control of at least my body and how I present myself will give me a little bit more kind of solid ground to stand on so that I'm more confident in myself because I haven't been in a long time. Dealing with the issue of facing this giant that's in front of me that is so much bigger than me because it's been cultivated over these years. It's something that I have to do, you know? I have to do it. I have to beat this. I've disliked it for so long, but at the same time, like, whenever the choice to do anything about it came up, it was like I didn't do it. And so I know for a fact that I can't do this by myself, which is why I enlisted the help of a trainer that I know, that I trust, that I'm familiar with, who I know cares. And I'm gonna take the chance to push myself every time because I have goals, I have aspirations, I have things that I wanna do. And so this is just a part of my declaration. You know, in, in the grand scheme of things, a lot of the choices that I'm making now are a war on the past decisions that I made in, in lieu of self-preservation because I got hurt by somebody else. I let their hurt dictate the rest of my life. And so there are certain things that I am doing to get my head back in the game, to not allow those things to steer me anymore. And it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of emotional soul searching. It's a lot of dealing with myself honestly it's a lot of um putting myself out there first step was these my weapons my brows and for some it might seem insignificant but to me they're a huge statement to me that i'm returning to the place where i left myself and picking myself up and moving forward. That's what, that's what these little steps mean to me. That's why it's so important that I 
I refrain from not doing. It's a lot. But I could do it. And I'm taking you on the journey with me. So we can do this together. Because I know somebody, whoever's watching this, is sitting at home feeling as if everything is out of their control and they can't make the hard decisions to change. And while for some people it's quicker and it happens like that, for others, it's a process. It takes time. You have to deal with things. It's okay. You're not on a timeline of perfection that you have to be perfect in every single thing that you do. Everybody grows at their pace. Everybody learns at their pace. Everybody overcomes at their pace. And as long as you're willing to put forth the effort of trying, and I know that sounds like some people are like, don't try, do. Easier said than done. Sometimes your do doesn't meet your try, you know? And that's what happened to me a lot of times. But I think I'm finally in a mental space where all the things and all the excuses that I had are no longer good enough for even me. It's, it's scary because I can tell that I'm actually ready to do this and I'm not gonna back down and I'm not gonna quit. And I'm gonna do everything necessary to make sure that by the end of this, I accomplish my goal. And I've always stopped myself short of, of being fully committed to things out of fear of failure, out of fear of missing the mark specifically, and out of fear of the hard work that's gonna take to get there. So I've mediocrely gone through life and that is no longer satisfactory to me because I can be doing so much more. And so because of that, that's why we're here today. That's why we're going to do this. We, you and I, whatever dreams and aspirations you have, Put them on the line. It doesn't have to be weight loss like it's mine. There's more things that I want to do and I probably will take y'all on that journey as well. My point is this. Whatever dreams that you have, whatever things that you want to do, do them. Baby steps. Baby steps. Take one step at a time. One small step to someone else might be huge for you. But it, all it matters is what it means to you. Me getting back to myself was getting my nails done getting my feet done, getting my brows done. That was a tiny step to others who seem like, oh, you're just, you know, going out and getting your nails done. What, what's the big deal to that? But for somebody who's been so depressed that I couldn't enjoy these moments, I hated getting my nails done. I hated getting my brows done. I hated getting my toes done because I was just like, I'm not worth it. For me, it's a huge deal to finally feel confident or secure enough or ready enough to finally make the decision that I want to enjoy these certain things that I used to do that I don't do anymore out of depression. It might not be significant to somebody else, but it's important to me. And what's important to you? What's important to you? What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? How do you picture your life? If this isn't the life that you wanted to live, what stopped you? What made you afraid? And do you still want those things? Or has it, has it changed? And if it has, why? And, is those, and have those changes benefited you? Whatever small choice you make, I support you. If nobody else supports you, I support you. Because I know how hard it is just to make those tiny steps. And for anyone who's made tiny steps recently, Congratulations. If you're making new steps in your life, that is so freaking awesome. And I admire you and I think that you're great. And put your comments down below. Tell me what you're doing. Tell me what it is that you're getting involved in. Tell me what it is that you're making a decision. And for those of you who haven't made a choice, what is it that you want to do? What do you think your small steps are that could help you get there? What tiny triumphs and wins have you made? Write it down in the comments below. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small they are. Celebrate your steps, no matter how insignificant other people think that they are. I went around, I was like, look at my nails. Look at them. Look at my little war paints. Look at, look, look at my declaration. Look at it, because I'm proud. Be proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna, in every video, I'm gonna let you know I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying? I am so proud of you. I'm so happy with what you've done with your life. 
And I hope you know that while you think that nobody's watching you, somebody is. Somebody is, and they're encouraged by your drive, by your tenacity, by you waking up every day, by you still smiling in the midst of situations, willing to laugh, small things, little things. You impact that. And I know that we're going through the thing of, you're not as important as you think you are. You're important to somebody, and you should be important to you. I'm not arrogant. I don't think that I'm the most important person in the world, but I am the protagonist of my personal story. So take that as what you will. This is your story. Write it. Write your story. I'm rewriting mine. I'm closing chapters in mine and pulling back old chapters to give a conclusion to. Because I can't live like this anymore as if I was a side character to my story only here to promote everybody else. Am I meant to be the greatest on earth? Maybe not, but I'm meant to be the greatest me. That's pretty important. Nobody else can do what you do. Nobody else can be you. That doesn't mean you need to be on the pedestal. It doesn't mean you're gonna be famous. I may never be famous. I may have seen myself being famous, but I may never be famous. I will always be Charmaine and the best version of my existence. That's important. So I just wanted you to know, we're in this together. I'm gonna lose this weight, you're gonna accomplish your goals, and we're gonna be great together. Be awesome, bottom line. Be awesome.